Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm Heather Noble and today I will be showing you a few techniques I've discovered in my quest to make the double border easier to tackle. I've done a lot of doubled borders and I always started by tying the ends like this, but crocheting the first round down the sides with all those ends was a nightmare. So I was looking for a better alternative. One day when I was playing with the concept of tassels, I discovered that if you tie two strands together by wrapping them around your finger and pulling through, they lay much nicer and don't get in the way as much as with the other method. Keep your left thumb and index finger on the knot where you want it to sit as you pull the strands tight. Once you've finished knotting, trim your strands to about one inch in length. I wanted to show you an example of the old method. See how the strands are just every which way. And then the new method and how nicely they just lay flat. Okay, so I'm gonna go down a hook size for the border and I'm going to use this red color yarn because it'll stand out nicely and be able to be seen easier for this demonstration. I'm going to start on the back side at the bottom of the piece and insert my hook chain one yarn over and insert around the post and do a half double crochet. Insert your hook into the space where you finished your last stitch around the post and half double crochet. I'm going to show you a few more times and then I'll jump to the end of the row. Okay, now I'm at the last stitch where the corner will go. And before I show you how to do the corner, I want to turn the work over and show you how it looks on the other side. And we start on the back side, and this gives us a guide when we get to the front side to see where the posts are and where to work our stitches. So if you look right underneath, this would be like the top V of the, of the row you can see that there are stitches around the posts and this will be your guide for when you work on the front side. Okay, back at the corner. So I've gone around the post one time with a half double crochet and now I'm gonna chain two and go back around the same post with another half double crochet to complete the corner. Okay, now we're going to work our front post half double crochets down the edge. And it's not really a post that we work around anymore, it's the end of the rows, but the technique is the same.
I'm going to turn it over here and show you how it should look on the front side. You'll notice that you're going around the rows right at the edge of the last stitch of that row. So you want it to be right up against it. So you want to turn it over periodically and just make sure that your stitches are lining up where you want them to be. I'm going to finish this side and I will meet you back here at the corner. At the corner work a half double crochet, chain two, and then another half double crochet around the same post. I'm going to turn it over to double check and make sure that all of my stitches are lying right next to the edge of that last stitch of the row. I've reached the end of the round and I'm going to work just the last two stitches. So half double crochet around the post. I'm going to cut my yarn pull it through and end with an invisible join. So I'm going to grab my yarn needle and I'm going to go under both loops of the stitch on the left. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see better. And then I'm going to go through the middle, just pick up the back loop of the stitch I just completed. And that way you can't really tell where the row ends. All right, now it's time to start the front side of our border. Once again, we're going to work starting on the bottom of our piece. And you see the loops that were left behind from the back border. Those are our guides. So insert your hook around a post directly below one of those loops. It doesn't really matter which one you start with. And our goal is to work as close to directly beneath the loop as we can get. So let's join our yarn, pull up a loop and chain one. And then working around the same post, make a half double crochet. As we work down the edge, the goal of each stitch is to get as close to the edge of that last stitch in the row as we can get. Make it nice and even. Okay, I've come to the end of the round. I have one more stitch to go here. And I'm going to cut my yarn and do an invisible join.
All right, I'm starting round two. I'm going to join my yarn and do a regular half double crochet stitch into each stitch around. And because this is a smaller project, I'm just going to do two rows. You may want to do more than that. If you have a bigger project, that's completely up to you. I did find that as I did this sample, that two rounds of half double crochet is almost not wide enough to fit all those loose ends inside the envelope to close it up. So it was a little tricky to finish it up. Um, so you may want to do more than two rounds, just that's up to you. At the corner, I work a half double crochet, two chains, and another half double crochet into the chain space. Continue this way all the way around the perimeter of both sides. So now it's time to join both sides together and I'm going to start at a corner working in the chain space. And I've changed color of yarn just to change it up a bit and add a little bit of an accent here. So I'm going to chain one. And then I'm going to single crochet two times into this corner and I'm going to work around my tail to just kind of weave it in as I go. And then as a variation I decided instead of slip stitching around I'm going to do a single crochet underneath both sides um, full stitches. So I'm not going to pick up a front loop or a back loop. I'm going to work under the entire stitch. So work into the front stitch, go under the back stitch, and complete a single crochet. Continue to the end of the row and I'll meet you for the corner. At each corner, work three single crochets into the chain space. I've just about reached the end of the round and you'll remember we started the whole joining process with two single crochets in the chain space so now this is our third right here so we're going to end in the chain space with one single crochet to make a total of three and then we're going to do an invisible join Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.